Hi guys. How are you doing today? It's December 26th, 2017, and we are yet another day closer to Judgment Day. <clears throat> Who knows when, but we're yet another day closer to Judgment Day, and we should be glad. And I'm, I'm thankful. I really am grateful and thankful that the Lord has given us another day, another chance to repent. Um, I'm going to read to you a piece of scripture I feel is necessary right now. Okay. I'm, I'm on 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Um, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 through 18. And the title is, Be Not Unequally Yoked. Okay, this was a, um, this was the second letter that Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthians. Okay, and it says here, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion, communion hath light with darkness? Um, it's telling you basically right there, come out, oh wait, I didn't get to that part yet. After what concord hath Christ be, what? After what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, and I will dwell in them, and will walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. That's the phone. I don't know who that is. Hold on. Oh, buddy. It says, I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore, it says here, um, verse 17 Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. So, God is commanding us. I need to work on this, and all of you need to work on this too. In order to become... In order to be a follower of Christ, we have to come out from among sinners. There are some people that we have to stop hanging out with, including me. There are some people that we like, but we just have to stop hanging out with them because they're sinners. And they do not follow Christ. Um, so we have to come out from among them, them meaning the sinners, the ones who rejected the truth, the ones who do not follow the truth, or who are not striving to follow the truth, at least. So, be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, you will accept us, and I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, this is Paul talking, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, protecting holiness in the fear of God. So guys, um, we need to come out from among sinners, from unbelievers, as it says in verse 14. With this. Um, because righteousness and unrighteousness cannot go together. So I need to work on this. We all need to work on this. Um, and this is a step in the right direction if we do do this. Um, again, this is for all of you trying, striving, striving um, to follow um, the word. So I just wanted to put this out there um, because I'm struggling with it. I'm still learning and I'm sure all of you are too. But yes, it says come out from among them and be ye separate and the Lord will accept us. So I just wanted to read this piece of scripture. <sighs> May God bless all of us.
In Jesus' mighty name, may God bless all of us. May he bless all of us. God bless all of you.